What's going on guys? God bless you. Carlos here with Serrano's Mobile Detail in Dallas, Texas. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video, guys. I'm very excited about today's video. Um, <clears throat> if you guys have been following the channel, you guys probably very rarely see me do a rinseless wash. Today, that's exactly what we're doing on my wife's vehicle. After the storm, after the freeze, I really didn't want to turn on these... Um, like my the water lines in our house uh, not yet uh, I'll do it probably towards the evening today uh, just to give it a little bit more time to thaw out obviously I think we should be okay I just like to take precautions because I don't want to pay for extra damages on the house <laughs> so <clears throat> we are doing a rinseless wash on my wife's car we're using to me new uh, this is something very different out of I don't use this. Uh, we're going to be talking about this detailing keg uh, that was created by or made by uh, the detail guy. This was all done by him. Everything that, that is done, everything you're going to see in this video is also uh, provided by him. And I'm going to tell you why I feel this is the perfect detail keg to support or business, right? Uh, but anyways, let's get started with this car. We're going to be using pretty much all the tools that come out the box that come with the with the with the uh, with the package and I'm going to give you guys my honest feedback on it so let's get started When it came to the wheels, guys, um, at first I was like, why do I need two wands? Why can't I just use one wand? Um, and then it finally dawned on me that actually this one works way better when it comes to wheels and tires uh, for the simple fact that you have more pressure um, to, to produce. And it comes with all these tips. I forgot, I don't think I mentioned it, but it comes with all your tips necessary um, for, your, for your wand really really nice it, it, it feels solid it's built really really well um, and then plus the pressure it is perfect perfect flow just enough pressure to really remove the grime remove the dirt um, off of your uh, wheels and tires When it comes to rinseless washing, I think that is the, for sure is gonna be the best route for many detailers um, that do not have a pressure washer. Or in many cases, guys, you're gonna run into issues if you haven't as a mobile detailer, where if you work in garages, um, if you work in garages, some places will not allow the use of water they don't want pressure washers they don't want none of that because of because it will make i guess a lot of noise or you know whatever the case may be but if you haven't be prepared and that's truly when um that's when i learned more about rinseless washing because 
in my head, I was like, there's got to be a solution to this because, you know, I can't show up to a job and not be ready to wash the customer's car, um, which did happen once. I went to a, a place, the security came out and they said, hey, man, you can't use you can't use water or, you know, they were like, you can't use pressure washer. So that is really when I started learning more about rinses washing. Is it something I do every day? No, I don't use rinses washing because I'm more of a pressure washer guy. And I just got so accustomed to it. But when you have those scenarios where, you know, you don't have, you can't use a pressure washer, you're gonna be so happy you learn how to do a rinseless wash. And to be honest, it'll look just as good as if you use a pressure washer. For the body of the vehicle, uh, I love, we're gonna be using this, this, uh, this one right here. Here's the beauty of it with this, with this, well, how the way he made it is you're able to use these Merlins. If you've seen a video before, I have enjoyed these Merlins because you can shut them off and you won't get no pressure out, right? And you can take it off and you can put the next tool, right? This was really, really smart. Uh, it's definitely one of those things that it's like you don't need, but then you realize you do need it. So this Merlin fitting, just perfect. We're gonna put this one here. And the reason I enjoy using this long one is one, is because I locked it. One is because I'm gonna get very fine mist, right? It's very fine mist. You're not oversaturating the vehicle. There's not a lot of water being induced to the floor. And just keep in mind, that's, that's if you're working like in a place like those garages or anywhere where they tell you, hey man, you can use water. This is perfect. I have it on a very fine, fine mist, like a fan. And all I'm doing guys is pre-treating, pre-treating the, the paint so that the rinseless solution can start emulsifying the dirt which makes it much easier for you to uh, to wash the vehicle so just give it time you can already see it literally uh, kind of start bringing all the dirt down What we're using today for the solution is by Drive Auto Appearance. We're using, I'm using his, uh, uh, I forget his the name of it. It's the yellow one. The yellow one. The Flex uh, Hybrid Ceramic Rinseless. And then I have that as well on my bucket. And we're... We have it with a black sponge for our rinseless. So you'll use this sponge. Usually, preferably, you want to use a, this type of sponge for rinseless that has all these indentions in here, all these cuts, and that's going to help grab all the dirt, keep it in there, and then you can flip it over and use the new side. Uh, that way, when you throw it back into the bucket, all that dirt will go right into the bucket. Pre-treated already, obviously, but I tend to always, before I start on the body again, I will come and just give it one quick fan of the rinseless product. And then I'll grab my sponge. And then I'll usually do like from one door to the other. And, and you can kind of see this sponge grabbing all that dirt. And just making sure.
that it keeps it in the sponge. And what that's going to help as well is making sure that your towel also kind of stays cleaner longer. That way you're not using like a lot of towels. And I'll come and grab my towel and then I'll just start drying the vehicle. And once you get your process down guys, it's literally as quick or even quicker as using a pressure washer. You, once you get your technique down, this can be very, very quick. And now that I have the whole vehicle washed, I come back with some DIY ceramic gloss, two sprays on my towel. And then I would just pretty much blend into the paint, the pillars, and glass. You can already feel this thing slick. Flip it over and buff off. That's for the protection pretty much. You don't have to do that. Um, I just got used to always applying ceramic gloss on it. So you can just spray it on your towel. If you want to do one spray on your paint, then you can definitely do that. And then flip your towel over and buff off. When it comes to the hose, I really enjoyed it because you can literally leave it set in one spot. And I mean, if you're working on a long truck, you're good, right? Obviously, I have it on the on this thing here, so it rolled. Um, but if you just leave it um, without having it strapped like I do, you can feel sure that you can you can do a whole car, and you're gonna be just fine to do the whole car. You can literally bring it around. Obviously, I'm out of view, but you can bring it bring it around and do almost the whole half of the other vehicle. So you get about 20 feet. I think it's about 20 feet. I could be wrong. You get about 20 feet of hose and that is perfect. Beautiful, perfect flow of water. Nothing too crazy. And the beauty of it is you're not making a mess with water. release the pressure very simple i've gone ahead and released the pressure on this already just because i didn't want to make the that big noise on the air release uh there is this little knob right here all you're gonna have to do is lift it up and that will release all the pressure as well for those who are like me and you're like i don't know how much psi i put in here right this has a pressure release so if you overfill it the air is going to be releasing it's a safety mechanism so that this thing doesn't blow <laughs> blow up on you so just know that there is a safety on this one where once it starts getting too full the air will start releasing so that you know you don't bust this all right so we are finally done with my wife's car literally took maybe about 30 minutes or so for the whole process um but it's now time to get serious right <laughs> um the cost when it comes to this it is 340 i believe free shipping i think don't quote me on that um but this whole setup is 340 dollars it comes obviously with all the fittings comes with your uh, fittings for your pressure washer gun again it comes with your wand for your pressure washer it comes with your long handle wand uh, so it comes with this as well and it comes with your hose already guys so this comes fully prepared all you have to do is plug and play and you're gonna be very very surprised with this product you can find mr scott graves on instagram on the detail guy uh, dot biz 
uh, i'll be posting <coughs> hopefully the picture pops up of where you can find him as well on the description i'm also going to be putting his information phone number shoot him a text or give him a call um and i'm going to tell you why i feel this is the best product out in the market some may agree some may disagree some of you guys may say well this one looks the same as all the other ones out there right the reason i feel like this is the perfect uh keg one is because you know it's made by a small business right no big corporation secondly he's making these kegs uh to support his mother um after seeing this work seeing everything that comes with it the the price is very fair in my opinion recently i believe he had to put his mom in a nursing home um so it's, it's been tough right um so he's been making these kegs and for those who have purchased this already who saw me post this in a couple of my uh, platforms thank you guys for supporting him uh and purchasing a detail keg in my opinion this is the perfect tool or product for those detailers um who don't have a pressure washer who'd rather do rinseless this is perfect i put about i think it was four gallons of water um and then i put you know pressured it all the way up to where it should be and i did this whole car in one in one hit i didn't have to refill with air or nothing like that so for that i really enjoyed i'm one of those that i i really don't like going back and forth to refill things the ik pump sprayer um waste of money but this is perfect this is the perfect tool for those who who want us you know stand out i've seen some even wrap the kegs they've wrapped their kegs make it custom um <clears throat> but this is the perfect tool for for many for many of us right we may not have the finances right now um but if down the road you have it and you think this is a good fit for your business i highly recommend you purchase one uh from mr scott um i really enjoyed using it today uh because there's scenarios sometimes as detailers where we are not able to use pressure washers. The businesses don't want us to use, um, you know, noise. So this comes in handy so, so well. Uh, and I can feel comfortable that literally I think I can do about, I'm going to say I could do maybe like two more cars because the water is minimal that I, that I wasted in my opinion. But again, this is the detail keg. <laughs> <laughs> um i think these they usually use them for like beer um but hey they're not just for beer they're for detailers just like us <laughs> um but anyways i hope today's video kind of helped you guys out in checking out something very new very different for me this is always different just because rinseless is always going to be one of those things that i just don't do a lot but given the scenarios of the weather we've just had i'd rather be safe pull out the detail keg wash my wife's vehicle and if you guys can see um the water usage was very minimal um there is literally n minimal water was used right if we use a pressure washer usually you'll see water everywhere um but it turned out really really well guys again thank you so much for watching today's video guys go out there support the detail guy uh, Mr. Scott in purchasing one of these honestly it's a great product I've seen some already even use it to extract they put in a extractor and use that to use it as their uh, DIY um, made extractor there's many uses to it once you put your imagination to it um, again thank you Mr. Scott for sending me this uh, this detail keg I have really really enjoyed it um, and I can see more uses um, in the near future for this so Anyways, thank you so much for watching today's video, guys. As always, God bless you, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.